Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the mic check. Mic check. Is this thing on? How are you guys doing today? So, uh, yesterday I made a video and it was the, the main focus was on the uh, what they're pushing out to us plain as day, right in our faces. They're starting to push out the Phoenix. Okay. Um, now, now yesterday's video was very long. I'm gonna actually take the best parts of my yesterday's video and condense them into a shorter video and take out all the filler all right because i had an exciting video except for there was a lot of filler all right this this video is going to be all that condensed into a short video all right for you guys because this is this is the exciting part guys okay things are rolling forward P the you know the um the powers that be have apparently decided that it is time for everything to start happening all this stuff and I, there there's a lot of stuff i haven't gone over in my in this youtube channel um as well that is happening and but it is happening all at once guys and they're starting to push it push it to us um you know they the powers that be don't work in a way that is just plain and simple they're very complicated very complex and so what they're using right now is cryptic messaging okay and so what they're doing is also subliminal messaging but they are putting the phoenix in our faces more than ever haven't you noticed all right so check it out all right first of all take a moment to hit the thumbs up subscribe notification bell Crypto Mike is my name. Cryptocurrency is my game. Here we go. All right. So you guys, the other day I pointed out, um, I'm just going to get to the exciting parts first this time. All right. I pointed out that the Phoenix is being pushed into our faces and it's happening through corporate ads now. Okay. This is a big company here. Okay. They I'm, let me show you. Let me show you. Actually, I saved the picture so I, we can examine it a little closer and a little, a little higher res here. Okay. And also, uh, maybe five days before that, I noticed. Okay. I've been noticing. And I want you guys to pay attention to all the media. I want you to pay attention to Twitter, the advertisements they put out, the stories they put out. Because what they're doing now is they're putting Phoenix out on purpose. They're doing, uh, they're, they're they're highlighting Phoenix, Arizona, because that is a simple way to put the word Phoenix out in our faces. Um, okay, look, <clears throat> they put this out when when you hit the search bar in in Twitter, um, it it goes to all the main stories of the day, and it highlights all the main stories of the day in the USA, some in the world, but mostly USA. All right. First thing they put out on top, the front page basically, was Phoenix Police Chief's response to something. It was nothing big. It really wasn't because you see this kind of stuff. I see this in my city all the time. It's nothing new. This happens all over the country. Um, there's just like a skirmish or this wasn't even a skirmish. It was a like a police call. Someone got arrested for something and nothing. It wasn't anything big. Um now look, one dead, two injured. This is below this. Someone actually died. This was actually the day my uncle was there, um, an hour before this shooting. He was at that the same Costco, and 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 that was in his city. Um, anyways, that's that doesn't. But this was a big story compared to this. But for some reason, they highlighted the pol Phoenix police chief response to. I f I really wish I clicked on it and like and save that picture because I, I, I looked at it, it wasn't anything big. It was like, appears to show, oh, show force. Okay, what they're, yeah. It was a stupid story. They're saying Phoenix police chief responds to something which appears to show force. Basically, they're trying to uh, exploit uh, some police brutality kind of thing, but they didn't even beat anyone, okay? Anyways. Anyways, let's, let, let me get back on to the topic. But the topic is Phoenix. Okay, the topic of this video is the Phoenix. All right. We're going to go down to the T-Mobile um, advertisements that we have seen um, in the last few days. Okay. The first one that caught my attention was this one. Okay. 
This is a T-Mobile representative. Um, he's one of the higher ups. He he has a big, you know, it's a promoted. Uh, even if I don't follow them, it promotes it. Okay, on Twitter, Phoenix was the big word highlighted here. All right, and it's kind of cool, kind of cool, because what they're doing here is they put Phoenix and then they put Goodyear above it. Goodyear, Imperial Beach, Chandler. Um, there were a few other words that I saw that really stood out um but half moon bay phoenix half moon bay phoenix um casa grande surprise 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 do you see that right below phoenix is surprise right above it is half moon bay interesting right so the moon moon phoenix surprise Casa Grande. Um, all right. This is very cool. I really am excited. Um, I think there was a few other things that I cannot really see right now, but I did notice there were a few. Now, if you can, if, try to look for this advertisement, okay, and then go and look at the picture. All right. Um, now, the second thing that really caught my eye, this was a moving graphic, okay? Um, so these numbers were zooming in and zooming out, and this these were the only three numbers that they presented in this whole ad and i think it's a really really amazing coincidence that the three numbers were five eight nine five eight nine now there's only one cryptocurrency that i can relate five eight nine to and that is xrp all right, the Phoenix, right? A lot of people are thinking that XRP is the Phoenix, okay? Because of this Economist cover, all right? In 1988, The Economist came out with a world currency. Okay, they've been planning a world currency for a long time. That's no surprise. Um, we have a lot of insiders and people who've worked for the government who've been telling us they are planning to roll out with a digital asset as a world currency. Now, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's going to be the one world currency because I don't think it, it can be the only world currency. It's going to be XRP is going to be rolled out as the bridge currency for global liquidity across the world by the IMF. They are going to adopt it as the bridge currency for the world all right, and use it for global liquidity. To do that, the price will have to rise dramatically, okay, so that it will be more liquid, so that people can, so the banks can buy and sell it at ease very quickly, okay? That's what liquidity means, all right? Having enough to buy and sell instantly, okay? So you don't have to wait for a buy, uh, buy order to fill, all right? You know what I mean? So the Phoenix, the Phoenix. Interesting, right? All right, guys. Um, now, I'll tell you the truth in full transparency. Um, this symbol really reminds me of the Stellar symbol. Um, that's not the only reason I hold Stellar, but there's a lot of little reasons I hold Stellar as well. I don't hold nearly as much as um, my XRP, but... I do hold Stellar just in case. You never know. You never know. All right. Um, and and I do think once XRP rises, Stellar will rise too. Anyways, not taking away from XRP. All right. But I do. I just want to point out that it is a coincidence that uh, Stellar's logo is exactly the same as this. All right. Um, now the Phoenix 2018. This rolled out 2018. You know. Um, XRP was created before them, so I've always thought like, oh, well, I guess they were wrong. I guess it's not XRP or whatever. But, okay, there's been, you know, XRapid was rolled out in 2018. Also, this is 30 years ago, all right, that they made this predict 40 years ago. Damn, 40 years ago that they put this cover up. Um, is it? No, it was 30 years. Sorry, sorry. 30 years ago um, and they they might not be exact on the on the year you know who knows but 
I just want to also point out the the Economist cover. Um, the Economist magazine is owned by the Rothschilds, the ones who are basically in charge of the world. They are completely in charge of the world. Um, and they're okay. Look, I'll tell you some another crazy thing is that there have been okay. We are the world's changing very quickly. Um, in many different dimensional layers, there are different things changing financially, um, vibrationally, people are waking up and uh, we're going to, okay, look, our galaxy is drifting into a part of the universe right now. All right. That is higher frequency. All right. The earth is changing. This is the age of Aquarius. The Mayans predicted this, okay, through in their calendar. In 2012, things started changing. Now things are picking up and gearing up, and things are changing more quick, quickly, more quickly than ever. Our galaxy is drifting. It's, it's, it's moving into a part of the universe that is a higher vibration and our, our, our world, Gaia, and us as beings are, we have no choice. It doesn't matter. It, we're, we're raising our, our vi vibration is rising. It's rising, raising, it's rising, raising, rising. And um, we're waking up, okay? All right, people are starting to see things that they didn't see before. Things are starting to come to light. It's all happening all at once. Get ready for a wild ride. I'm telling you, wild. Okay. Um, another thing is, okay, so the Economist, the Phoenix, um, right here, Phoenix, um, they're pushing out this as well. Dark Phoenix, they had this. This came out on my birthday. Um, this was only a few months ago that they started they rolled this out the dark phoenix x all right and um there's other things too there let me see um i'll show you this one all right this is another t-mobile advertisement that came out around the same time by john legear the owner of t-mobile um ceo actually and it, to me, in the background, it looks like a chart. Okay, it's actually the New York City skyline, but it really looks like a chart to me. Okay, um, I'm not going to go into detail too much, but I think this is kind of like a you are here symbol on a map. Looks like we are here. I don't know. It might not be, but the Statue of Liberty is at the end. Okay, to me, that represents financial freedom, freedom, liberty, right? Now, right here, there's a person looking onto the chart, and on his back says, the uncarrier. The uncarrier. Now, what that means to me is the one who doesn't, the ones who don't carry XRP or hold XRP are going to be looking on at us in this chart. We are the ones represented here, the, the, the hodlers of XRP. Who are going to see extreme rises in price and at the end all it only means one thing financial freedom that's what this represents to me okay with this and that together they rolled all three of these ads out at once i'm going to be continuously looking for more look for the phoenix look look for it in advertisements okay look for it in news stories um look for 589 Okay, just look for stuff like this, okay? Just keep your eye open, eyes open, like Baraboa Guy says. Um, half moon, let's see. Half moon, half moon bay. Uh, you know, it just all can connect if you really look. Um, this is the, the coloring book that they, they released one of the pages of the uh, Bitcoin coloring book, which has been... Uh, extended the, the release date was is July 18th now um, let me know in the comment section if you know anything about 
July 18th. If anything special is happening on July 18th, um, we might want to see what moon phase it is. I don't know. I don't know. So also, let me see. Um, there were a few. One more. Here's a here's a page of the Wave and Ripple theory, um, book design book, which is still coming out the same day. June 28th, that say the that is the day of the G20 Osaka summit that the world leaders are going to be at. Uh, Trump and Xi are going to talk more about the tariffs and hopefully get some of that resolved. In my opinion, the tariffs and the trade war is all put out to us so that basically it's a way to control the stock market and the economy. Um, they're 10 steps ahead of us. Trump and Xi and and Putin and all the world's leaders. I mean, you guys, look, look, humble yourselves. Don't think that you're so smart, that you know everything, that you know that everything they tell us is what we should take at face value. It's not that way. They know how to control the masses and manipulate the masses into thinking things because everyone wants to think that they're smart and that they know what's going on, right? Everyone wants to feel important. Okay, that's most people's main goal in life is to be important in some way or style, some way or fashion. All right, they want to be important. So everyone mostly wants to think of themselves as smart and intelligent. And everyone seems to want to act like they know exactly what's going on, including me. I mean, but I think I know what's going on, and this is my theory, all right? And I personally choose to look between the lines and dive deep, all right? And then if I don't find anything, then I'll go back to the service and I'll take it for face value, all right? Um, now, yeah, this is the, so in the Bitcoin coloring book, it says, this is the page they put out on LeafStorm Press. Oh, Buck. Oh, Buck, I love you too, but with Bitcoin, I can have a future. By the way, Bitcoin is making crazy gains right now. It seems to have, it seems to be having a Libra Facebook coin FOMO. Um, that seems to be what hap what is happening right now. It's, it's almost at 10,000, guys. It's about 9,800 right now. A lot of people will, are saying that once it hits 10,000 and stays there, there's going to be FOMO. Um, man. The chart is looking intense, guys. The chart's looking intense. Get ready. Just get ready. Be prepared. We'll see what happens. Oh, by the way, I, I got a birthday cake the other day from Phoenix Bakery. Now, that's kind of a personal thing because no one else know, got that. But there are little things in my life that you know are showing up, and I take note of them. All right, now, why would Brad Garland House take a picture with all these professionals who work at the IMF, the World Bank? Uh, oh, Bitcoin Foundation. I didn't know he was there. Interesting. Okay, so Bitcoin and Ripple, guys, are the highlight. Bitcoin and Ripple. All right, um, IMF, financial technology, global digital finance. Chief Fintech Officer, um, IMF, Christine Lagarde. SWIFT is there, of course. Um, IMF, Bank Indonesia. All these very important people are here. Um, Interdepartmental Working Group on Finance and Technology, okay. Taken at Sin Singapore Fintech Festival. All right, you guys. Ripple is in continuous talks with the IMF. The IMF is going to adopt a digital currency as the world, uh, the world currency, basically. XRP is going to be, now, Bitcoin, I have a feeling, XRP, you've seen Bearable Guy's photo with the castle and the knight and, and the bear. XRP was on top, then Bitcoin, and then the U.S. dollar, all right? Or it might have been the other way around, the, the US dollar, then Bitcoin, but XRP was on top. That's all I care about right now. All right. Um, this was a, that was a few months. That was a month ago. I think that's 
Um, by the way, take note, he has 22 eyelashes and there's 22 sunbeams too. There's 22 sunbeams. Um, yeah, so this is just getting more and more exciting, guys. Um, all right, let me see what else there was. By the way, I am going to give out a bearable guide doll. Okay. Um, made by Aiding Trading. I bought two of them. I bought one for myself as a keepsake and a memento of these wondrous times before the more wondrous times. <laughs> before the moon. Um, let's see. I tweeted today. I found this. Found this. No one else found this or, or said anything about it. Um, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> All right. So one other thing, um, meanwhile, so, um, I could say maybe a friend sent me this and he had this in his messages. Uh, meanwhile, Deutsche Bank is deep in derivatives and is on a verge of imploding. <coughs> yes, that is true. Deep in derivatives, guys. That's where all the money's coming from. All the money's going to come from there. Okay? That's where all the money's going to come from into the crypto market. The Earth Alliance, okay? That that the Earth Alliance are the Patriots. The Patriots are a faction of the Earth Alliance. The Earth Alliance are the good guys, guys. They're the ones who care about us. The establishment does not care about us at all. We are sheep to them. We're cattle. We are cattle to them. That's all. We're livestock. That's all we are to the establishment, the deep state, the cabal. All right. Now, the Earth Alliance has been fighting them, and they've been winning behind the scenes. And that what that is what QAnon is all about. That That is what Q has been telling us this whole time for two years, constant posts. Go check it out. And it's been hard to for the mainstream to see because they will not, they suppress that information like crazy. They will not let us see it because it's true and they don't really like us to see anything that's true unless they want us to. All right, and that's the, the extent of the control they have on us. Now, get outside of that and start looking for yourself. Start having a mind of your own. Stop listening to what the mainstream tells you. Stop looking at all the shiny, bright graphics that they're, showing to you all the all the good stuff right that's not even true the earth alliance is keeping the deutsche bank in its current state to act as a trigger this is all controlled okay the world recession is coming and the deutsche bank is going to be the trigger okay and it is coming soon guys just be prepared that's why i say diversify your your wealth okay buy cryptocurrencies Okay, mainly XRP and Bitcoin. Um, and also buy, maybe buy some gold. But I think silver will perform better in the near future. Um, especially because it's at a 90 to 1 ratio with gold. And historically, it's at a 10 to 1. Eight ounces of silver are mined for one ounce of gold in the, in the world. There's eight ounces of silver for one ounce of gold. So really it should be at an eight to one ratio of price wise, but it's not because most of the world's silver is held by JP Morgan and they are crooked. They are crooked. They're crooks. And they've been suppressing the silver price. So no one thinks it's valuable. That's why not a lot of people buy it. Now you notice the funny thing about the mainstream public is that they don't notice something that's gaining value till it's gaining in value. They don't really look at things until it's in the news. Now, gold's in the news. Bitcoin's in the news. People are starting to see that it's rising. Once it hits 10,000, it'll be in the news a lot. Once it hits 20,000, you guys prepare for um, an emotional roller coaster and mostly in a good way okay just prepare yourselves mentally okay five eight nine and a year all right this is bearable guys one of his best puzzles or i wouldn't even call it a puzzle just kind of like a prediction that didn't really come true but i think this was had hidden meanings okay or maybe it just got pushed back 
and just maybe got pushed back. All right. So a lot of people think XRP is going to jump in extreme an extreme percentage into the 589 price bracket and stay there and be and be used as a stable coin. A lot of people think that. That's why a lot of people are buying XRP and there's just all this bearable guy talk and there's a lot of hype and hopium with XRP and but there are a lot of intelligent um analysts out there people and people who think in different on different levels than normal people who are actually examining this and examining what XRP is going to do for us and what Ripple's doing for the world and they actually can come to a logical conclusion that this might might just happen okay it could all the derivatives the derivatives can come to this they're fake anyways they create fake money out of thin air anyways why couldn't they put fake money into this and make this a reality? XRP is going to forgive global debt and corporate debt. Okay? Go watch Digital Nomad Investors uh, XRP Manifesto. All right? Go just type it into YouTube, Digital Nomad Investor. Subscribe to him and watch his, his XRP Manifesto. It explains a lot and it explains it logically. All right, guys? Um, now I'm going to get out of the photo section here. Uh, I'm going to go back to this. I want to just show you another thing too, as far as the economist cover, the Phoenix, um, Donald Trump, he tweeted this the same day that those ads were put out by T-Mobile. He, he capitalized economist. I think that might be an homage to the economist cover of 88. I mean, he, he, he capitalizes a lot of things, but, you know, I don't know. I just noticed that it might be, it might not be what he's talking about. Who knows? By the way, we did, um, things are happening. I mean, you guys, I'll tell you the truth. We're this close. We're so close to going to war with Iran. And I think that might be the start of a, that might be a catalyst. Deutsche Bank will be a catalyst. These things are all happening at the same time. And this is to, all in all, this is all about, this is always about money. It's always about money. Um, oil, you know, oil's about money and power. Um, but it's all going to trigger the financial reset that we've been waiting for. And I hope you guys are prepared. Hope you're prepared. Now... I would also buy some Bitcoin. I would buy some Bitcoin, some XRP, and some silver and gold. I think, and maybe some Ethereum too. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, hold back on the Ethereum, especially because it's been surprised. XRP and Ethereum, while Bitcoin has been having a huge run, XRP and Ethereum have been staying, basically staying down. Um, so it is still a really great opportunity to buy uh, XRP and Ethereum. Now, we need to remember that the Patriot plan for draining the swamp has been planned out years before Trump even came into office. Think about all the people that have come and gone within the Trump administration. These individuals were there for a purpose. They needed these individuals to carry out a certain task. And once that task was completed, they didn't need these individuals. The Patriots right now they are in total control of every situation now we're going to be getting to all of all right so this, this guy xr2 x22 report just go type it in on youtube and subscribe to the channel and ke keep up to date he puts two videos out a day one on geopolitical news and the other one on financial um global financial news excuse me and he um he analyzes q's posts as well but he also stays, just keeps us up to date on the news. Um, now, all along, I've been listening to him for over a year, and it's been a wild ride. It's been filled with hope and filled with just amazing news that we will not hear from any other sources um, besides these kind of people. X22, the channel, and we know, go check that out, the channel Just Informed. 
check that out. The channel True Reporting, check that one out. Okay, um, and James Red Pills America. Just check channels like that out. Be open minded. Okay, you don't have to take every single thing they say as fact. That's fine. You don't have to. Um, but they are on to something. Trust me on that. Now the Patriots are in control. The the Earth Alliance is in control. You guys, the last year, the last two years have been really good for us common people. Really good because behind the scenes, they've been doing a lot of things to take back the Earth from the Illuminati, from the Cabal, from the ones who don't care about us at all, who only see us as cattle, and they only see us as beings to be used to gain more power and control. Now, this Earth Alliance, they are the good guys. They're the ones who want to give us power back to us as individuals so that we can put out our uniqueness into the world and make the world a beautiful place again. Now, if you want to get really woo-woo into it, he doesn't go into this kind of stuff, but there are also spiritual happenings in the world. A lot of people think there are extraterrestrial, interdimensional beings helping us out with this kind of stuff. Who They're taking, they're helping us take our earth back. I'm not going to get too much into that because that's way out, way out there. Okay. But there, I do believe that the spiritual stuff to a certain degree. Now there's a big, great awakening, the shift. Okay. Financially, spiritually, geopolitically, there's a great awakening, a shift. What, look what's happening in France. Okay. They're having riots now, not riots, but they're having big protests over there against the globalist agenda and the you guys, the globalist agenda is not for us. It's not they they present it to be a good thing for us because they're giving us so much, right? No, when we depend on the government, that gives them all the power. Because if they were to take take what they give us away from us in one instant, we would be poor wandering souls just who don't have anything we don't have the resources we don't have uh we don't have the character to to live on our own to be able to handle our own lives we depend on you guys try to aim to be as independent as possible that's when you will find your true self that's when you have to look inside and that's when you have to discover who you are when you're dependent on other people all the time you don't know who you are because you're giving all your power to that person. You're not giving yourself, you're not enabling yourself. You're not empowering yourself, okay? Don't try to be dependent on the government. Don't take pride in, in getting welfare checks. It doesn't make sense. That's a very devaluing thing to do, okay? Take pride in being able to earn your own money, okay? And don't let the freaking mainstream media control your thoughts. All right. Now, my favorite tweet lately from David Schwartz um, seems to be using Gematria. I typed it in because this is an odd tweet. Um, if there, only there was Netflix for books. Now, when you type it in to the Gematria calculator, uh, the first thing that comes out is very striking and... It says, believe now or pay later. And I do believe he's talking about believe in like the bearable guy stuff and believe that XRP is going to be the world currency. Believe the people who seem to be crazy that there are a lot of haters of on YouTube who talk about 589 and stuff like that. So I think he's really trying to warn us, but he can't just come out and say it. But to the ones who look deep and the ones who will put this content out on YouTube, he's trying to help us out. All right. Believe now or pay later. You're going to have to pay because you guys, the U.S. dollar is going to start. It's going to be it's going to get there's going to be hyperinflation eventually. And people aren't it's just going to be like Venezuela. All right. And us Americans, we're so spoiled. Nothing bad ever happens to us. Well, they, they thought that before um, the Great Depression, 
everything was going great until it wasn't. Then everyone, the whole, everyone's life just changed overnight. The, the stock market crash of 1929, everyone's life just changed overnight. People were diving out of skyscrapers um, as a last resort. They were killing themselves because their whole lives were ruined. This is, this is going to happen again. All right. It's going to happen again. Now, our duty as content creators and um, just people and just anyone who really believes in this and no, well, I mean, everyone knows what's coming. Everyone knows the recession's coming. Our duty is to inform other people of what we know and to try to help other people before it happens. So that's why I'm saying diversify your cash, your U.S. dollar, especially take it out of the bank. Don't don't leave cash in your bank. I mean, if anything, cash is better than than having uh, electronic numbers in your bank account because the the money in your bank account it's not even real until you pull it out. Because banks say they have a lot of money, but they actually don't have all the money that they have that they say they have. So if you had a million dollars in your bank account and you tried to pull out a million dollars, they would not give it to you. You couldn't even pull out ten thousand dollars. You'd have to sign a bunch of papers. That's how much control they have on us, guys. All right, now going on to the Leaf Storm Press here. Um, this is the t the Twitter. By the way, I, I typed in a dream. Of, I was a dog in the the Dramatrix, and uh, a lot of cool stuff came out. So check it out. I'm not going to pull it up, but check it out. Now they've been tweeting rare wave clouds recently rolled through the sky over, and that goes, you know, hand in hand with the wave and ripple coloring book. Um, they also tweeted this out the other day about clouds. Let's see. Uh, there it is. Cloud formation, wave and ripple, wave-like ripples create stunning sight. By the way, there is going to be of like um, alien disclosure apparently, so just keep a lookout. Um, yeah, a lot of interesting stuff is coming. Now they did put this paper. They put this out. I already showed you that. Um, but yeah, go follow them. Um, they've been putting out interesting stuff, and they have talks. They 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 know who. The creator of this is and obviously it's someone important or who has a lot of money because they're donating all the all the proceeds to stem so it's all going to charity go follow leaf storm press okay they're obviously pretty new and very small company which is even better to me because they might only be utilizing and selling books but this is their main book you know so they, I mean, they obviously pinned the tweet, Bitcoin coloring book. So they might just be here just for this. Who knows? I don't know. Anyways, um, now when I went to the a few months, like a month ago, when I bought my official Bitcoin coloring book, there's a lot of mystery, mystery about it. There's a lot, there's a mysterious aura about it, especially when you read the descriptions um, and the editorial reviews. There's a lot of clues and stuff. Okay. And we don't know who this Satoshi Nakamoto is who put this out, but I, I have a feeling it's a big entity or it's a big corporation or something, but it's, this is bigger than it seems. Okay. It's not just a coloring book. All right. They say that it has clues, um, to a priceless Bitcoin treasure, which is, which Nakamoto is rumored to have buried online. You guys, there's, there's a lot of money to be made just by probably examining the uh, Bitcoin coloring book and the clues that are within it. Okay, now they rolled it back. Oh, now this is an old uh, this is an old page, I guess. But anyways, they rolled the date back to July 18th, and they did that the same day that the Libra coin was announced. So, anyways, um, I don't know what that means. They had to change something up within it. So. They rolled it back. But the first thing when I when I ordered it, they recommended a book here. They It keeps changing. But they recommended a book. And the book was called The Farmer's Son. 
I typed it in. I was just curious. I typed it into the Geomatrix, the Farmer's Son. And what I got was, uh, okay, well, I typed in the, the author's name too, John Connell, and Rising of the Phoenix. And then I typed in the title of the book. And the book was called The, the Farmer's Son. And what word comes up? The Phoenix. Okay, so Rising of the Phoenix was the title, with, was the uh, author's name, and the title of the book was The Farmer's Son, which translates to The Phoenix. So Amazon's in on it too, okay? Twitter, Amazon, T-Mobile, they're all in on it. They're all corporate entities that are higher ups that, are, you know, they're warning us, and that's what they do, guys. They warn us in plain sight before something happens. It always, that's how it goes. That's what they do. Now, real quick, I just want to show you the, the charts on XRP, and they're looking pretty good to me. So we are still we're respecting this this line that I, that I drew here. We're respecting it to the T right there. Drop down, hit it, went up. Now, the inflection point is in July. It's at the end of June, which is June 28th is the Osaka Summit, the G20. All the world's leaders talking about finances and global financial reform and stuff like that. Now, that's the XRP Bitcoin chart. It looks like a great opportunity. This might be the lowest we can buy it again. Now, there's a possibility it'll go back down and break this trend. Hopefully not, but it could go back down here. But this is the main support. This is a big support right here. It will not break that one. Okay. Um, it's been respecting both those trend lines very well. Now, this is the U.S. dollar chart, XRP to the U.S. dollar, and it's looking mighty fine. Look how bullish that looks. Okay, first of all, that's an ascending triangle now. We're basically in an ascending triangle pattern, but it, well, it's, it's, a, it's a ball pennant, basically. That's what it is. It's a ball pennant. But so we, we hit the top, came back down. Now we hit the top again. It looks like we really want to break out. Looks like Bitcoin really wants to break. I mean, XRP wants to really break out of this bull pennant. It could be any day now, you guys. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be any day that we break out to the next leg up. Um, all right, guys. So I think the next price target is about 50 cents. Okay. 50 cents right here. That's a nice even number. It might hit that, might go above it. We don't know, but it looks like a breakout is pretty imminent. All right, guys. All right, guys. So if you like this, uh, the content of my my YouTube channel, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Um, I went over a lot of information here that most people don't go over. Um, now, if if you do enjoy the content of my channel. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell, and then you'll always get the latest videos, all right, suggested to you. All right, so I uh, appreciate your time and patience, and uh, spread the good news, guys. There's a lot of good news, all right? Spread the good news and, and spread the love, and don't hate on people who just don't get it or don't want to know, all right? Don't hate on them. Just try to understand and just try to be there for them when all this shit goes down. Okay. Love you guys. Have a good day. My check out.